I'm Joe Wallace for GearWire.com. We're at AES 2006, and I'm talking with Brad Lundy, president of Trans Audio Group. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Now you have a uh, new line of mics, and they've got a variety of applications. Tell me a little bit about them. Yeah, this is uh, the line of uh, Heil mics from Bob Heil, who was one of the original inventors of live sound. He did the first big PA for the Grateful Dead. Uh, did all kinds of work with the early pioneers, the Who, whose next tour was all done by Bob Heil. He invented large-scale PA. He's kind of come up with the first new thing in dynamic mics in probably 20 years. It's called the Heil PR series, and it, basically they're, what makes them different is that they are large diaphragm dynamics. It's a line of three of them. It starts with the PR40, then goes to the PR30, right here, and then we have a PR20. These are good for recording and for live, and they're really, really good for a lot of uses. In fact, PR40 here was just used on a big part of the Killers record on vocals, the new Samstown record. Flood and uh, Alan Mulder were using this microphone. Down here on PR30, uh, got used quite a bit on the Tool record, 10,000 Days for guitar amps. And uh, we're seeing PR20 showing up on stages. Uh, Joe Walsh is doing touring, right? We've been touring using PR20s on stage. So it's quite a versatile line of microphones. The PR40, even though it's used for such nice applications as vocals and studios, is only $375. The PR30 is, is quite a bit less, under $300, and PR20 is under $200. Now you've got a lot of names using these microphones, and people would expect the price tags on these to be a lot higher, given the attention that they're getting from the industry. Why is the price tag so so farther down than you'd expect? Well, because these are dynamic mics, which are, means they're less expensive to manufacture than condenser microphones that you typically get. They're also made right here in the U.S. by right here in Illinois. Hi, I was based in Illinois. They're all put together right here, so we can keep costs down with not having to do a lot of shipping back and forth across the world and all that. So the real bottom line to this is, is that it's kind of a new technology that hasn't existed before to get dynamic mics to sound really good. Now, what is that technology? It's a larger diaphragm that uses a, a special technique for how he can get his diaphragms to be uh, very light and to provide really excellent transient response so they don't sound like a typical dynamic microphone. Now, in the past, uh, that hasn't necessarily been the construction of choice, the dynamic mic for people who wanted to go in studio and live, but now they're starting to move towards this because... Well, they've never, because they've never really had a dynamic that sounded quite like this one, you know. The big idea behind dynamics is they're nice and durable, so they've been this mainstay of live sound for years and years and years. Typically, though, they're built very heavy and they're thick and the diaphragms are built for durability. This microphone has got a new technology that enables it to be both durable and to sound good and to provide both functions in one package. So it's a, it's a different kind of thing than we've had before. As I say, it's the first new thing I think I've seen since the early 80s. Now, uh, in the past, were these type of microphones more expensive? Could a uh, small band that doesn't have the exposure of the Killers or Joe Walsh be able to afford something like this in the past? Is this a new trend for the lower prices, or what's going on here with these with these mics? Well, you know, every now and then you get a breakthrough product in audio. Every now and then you get a product that changes the paradigm. You know, I think early Mackie consoles are one of those sorts of paradigm shifts. I think uh, early Audio Technica mics and condensers, low-cost condensers, were that kind of thing. The Heil mic is sort of the first new thing in dynamics that reinvents a dynamic microphone. There's really nothing else quite like it out there. We've been talking with Brad Lundy, president of Trans Audio Group. I'm Joe Wallace for GearWire.com at AES 2006.